can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. See, this is what games is missing. Real dialogue. Now quiet. None of that. Everybody got to be nice. Can't use certain words because you might get banned type of thing. This is how real people talk. Does it really know right or wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But... but now that was kind of reckless right there. But funny though. It's all in games. This, this was just not again. an isolated it's incident. incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis. I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sergeant. God damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. There is my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay. Why don't you take a seat? Just like the movies, y'all. If you haven't seen Robocop 1 or 2, go watch it. Real good movie. That's a nasty, That's a nasty scar. Na I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems, so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. I didn't save the hostages. Piece of crime evidence collected. A B grading? Suck. Combat armor, brutality, engineering, focus scanning, deduction, psychology.
I call me used to. to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side, your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you so say, Officer? Say? Boss man looks like is a humanoid version of Chucky. I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room at five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you used to do. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Murphy, could you please help me out here? What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile toward me. And I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? No. But I will let you off for the warning. That's mine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so... Here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? No. You cops don't appreciate honesty. Take him away. Next, please. 
Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. Thanks for the help, Mark. Oh, I my stuff. No problem, boss. Alright, do I gotta go back in here? Oh, ten. Oh, no. Downstairs, I go to the shooting range. What? Oh, well, that wasn't 50. Not even 50, 50 huh? Yeah. 